Hey folks, if you enjoyed you here, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the bell for notifications. Also consider supporting us on Patreon for exclusive perks and check out our arts and media podcast, Words Like That, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, now shut up and get to it. Can't have no words like that. This is Mickey 17. All right, this is Robert Pattinson. It's directed by Bong Joon Ho, who he's a, a well respected, award winning director, but I think the only film of his I've seen is Snowpiercer. Not the series, but the movie, which was 2013, Chris Evans, Ed Harris, Tilda Swinton. And I really dug that movie. It had a distinct style that I deduce comes from the director. He did a great job directing that. This, all I know about it, it's Robert Pattinson, who originally, whenever he came out, I wasn't really impressed. Afterwards, I realized like, oh, this guy is actually really, really good. So all I know about this, the director, the actor, it's a sci-fi and it's some kind of clones, duplicates, alternate timelines, maybe, I don't know, of the same guy and I'm making the reasonable deduction that there's 17 of them and I think this is based on a book, but the book was actually called like Mickey 7 instead of 17, I think, and that's about all I know, so I'm going in fairly blind in terms of story. Let's check it out. Hi, Mickey. Are you experiencing any vertigo? I guess I am feeling a little dizzy. Oh, that didn't sound like it. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Just knock his hand off. Yeah. Nah, I wouldn't be surprised if you were thinking at this point. What have I done? How lucky can one guy be? Nothing was working Dino. out, and I wanted to get off of Earth. You're planning to be an expendable? Yeah. You read through the whole application. Ain't that okay. a kick in the head? Yeah, I should have read through it. Once you die, we'll print a new version of your body. My head keeps wow. They made me work my ass off on one mission after another. Every time you die, we learn something new, and humanity moves forward. Oh, wait. Mm. He's alive. Yes. Biggie, it's not looking very good for you. Yeah, no. I'm sure you're used to it by now, but what's it feel like to die? All right, it's about the halfway point. I'm going to stop it right there so we can get this on YouTube. So far, not what I had in mind. Obviously, now... I know what it is. It's not alternate timeline. It's not. It's kind of cloning, but the way they described it was almost like 3D printing, like biological 3D printing, which is an interesting concept or a way to describe it if it is actually cloning. And I guess, I don't know if the new version gets all the memories up to the point of death. Or, like, each one remembers the death of the previous version. If this is more like supposed to be just a continuation of the same guy, not starting from an earlier point before he died. I don't know how they're going to handle that. It could go either way. But the jazz soundtrack sound like Dean Martin in the back. And the way they're playing this and described it, it's like a dark comedy. It's given it a comedic effect, and I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking this was going to be more of a serious sci-fi. Not that I have a problem with an unserious sci-fi, if it's done well. But so far, I'm intrigued. It looks great. It looks well-directed. I'm going to wait till I finish the trailer, because it hasn't quite got me hooked yet. I'm intrigued. It's like the... 
the Leonardo DiCaprio meme from Django Unchained. You had my curiosity, now you have my attention. Well, that it hasn't gotten my attention quite yet for me to be able to say, yeah, I'm going to go check that, check that out in theaters. So let's finish this thing. Even on my 17th go around, I hate dying. Okay, so it sounds like he is going to remember every time. Every individual. Tell me quick. Let's blow up these secondhand baloney boys. Huh. Why don't you guys do rock, paper, scissors, and then we'll just shoot the loser. Tell me quick. Point of a kick. <laughs> Tell me quick. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is Dino, is it? But I'm you. I'm not you. I'm gonna kill you. Tell me quick. The other one <laughs> doesn't even seem to have the same voice though. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, I said there on on the on a music note here. I'm not sure if that was Dino there at the end. It didn't sound didn't quite sound like it. But anyway, regardless, it was, a, it was an old school crooner. Jazz soundtrack, giving it a comedic vibe. So, yeah, interesting. I'm not sold on it right now unless this gets just incredible reviews and or word of mouth. Really, the word of mouth. I don't know if I'm going to check this out in theaters, even though it looks interesting, even though I'm intrigued, the cast looks great, I'm deducing they're going to lean into the dark comedy aspect of it. I don't think they're just, it's going to be a bait and switch where they make the trailer all funny and you get there and it's a serious piece. But I do find it interesting that for some reason the other, when there's two, 17 and 18, one of them didn't even sound like the other Mickeys. I don't know if that's supposed to be a plot point or what, or how they're going to explain why there's more than one at a time. It obviously seems to be something that comes up that's a defect of the system somehow, and they deal with it by just killing all of them. That's what I got from the dialogue there. But yeah, looks interesting. Not 100% sold on it. What do you think? Is this like something that you want to see? Are you willing to leave your house to go see it in theaters. Does this look like something you, you'll watch, but wait till streaming? Let us know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you did, consider supporting us on Patreon for the full episode. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>